Hi guys, today I thought we would do um, something I've wanted to do for quite a while which is just some really loose florals. I haven't had that much time though so I'm thinking of starting a new series called 5 Minute Florals and we'll just kind of see um, what we can get done in, you know, if you've just got a few minutes, I mean it might go a little bit over 5 minutes but if you've got a few minutes and you wanted to kind of do something, um, uh, let's just um, see what we can create. Because one of my favorite things is these roses that I created and literally it was like five minutes. So I thought let's um, just try that today and um, we'll see how we go. So this is the large Jane Davenport um, watercolor uh, sketchbook. So one of the things about doing this quickly if we don't have much time is kind of not taking time to mix colours but rather wetting the paper and then kind of dropping the colours into that wet um, paper or the wet paint that's already on there and trying to sort of mix as we go. So um, what I'm thinking of doing is kind of a rose that's going to be kind of an oval for the middle with the sort of cup shaped or the half oval petals coming out of it and then in the middle of the oval it's going to be one of those sort of David Austin roses with like the kind of teardrop shapes in the in the middle so let's just see um, I'll start the alarm and and we'll see how we get on set alarm for five minutes okay I've set an alarm for 9.02 a.m. okay here we go so Let's get some Quin Rose and and I just said we shouldn't mix colours but I just want to um, make sure there's enough water on the brush and then let's just so in the first instance we're kind of creating these little And then just grab some more colour. And then now we want a really watered down wash for um, the kind of the outsides of that. So we're sort of trying to create um, really, there's, there's more water on our brush than and less um, colour. And I just um, mixed a little bit of ochre in to kind of give it, okay, and then let's just sort of drop a bit of colour in there. All right, and over here we go. And now this one we're going to sort of do from the center. So we're going to create So I'm mixing Quin Rose and Opera Rose here just to make it kind of So we're going to sort of do some half circles sort of around each other and then just build the row oh, what have I done? Build the rows out here kind of overlapping half circles. And then as we go out again this gets lighter. Um, add in some, add in some um, ochre. So this is French ochre. And you can create like any colors that you want, but okay. Now, um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I love 
um, pearl white as well, <laughs> making everything shimmer. So this is actually Schmincke Silver, which does the same thing. If you can't get Daniel Smith um, pearl white, Schmincke Silver is a pretty close and... I'm just going to sort of drop that in a few places. Kind of just working parts that you're not happy with. Um, okay, and then I might even go back here, add a little bit more sort of depth to this rose here. Mm, I didn't like that. Okay, and now, oh, so you do not want to just pop any colours on without sort of having them watered down. <laughs> See that? Um, okay, might go in and add a little bit more colour in the middle here. Okay, and so there is. The alarm and our first kind of rose um, kind of rose um, uh, roses are done. Okay, and what we might do now is another five minutes, so we'll kind of do the second. Um, the second episode in the series combined with the first um, just so we can kind of add some extra uh, floral florals in there now so set alarm for five minutes okay I've set an alarm for 9.08am okay so let's add um, let's add some rose buds And then let's add some green. So I've already got some kind of greens mixed up here. And then it's not exactly a realistic um, leaf colour, but I like it. So I'm just going to go with it. So, and then when you're doing it, it's kind of up to you as well where you want the, um, for example, if you want to touch the watercolours together, um, like here, it's kind of trying to bleed into the, and I actually don't mind it when they sort of, when you get that kind of watercolour -y, so you can kind of allow them to touch and allow that to um, create that watercolour effect, or you can sort of keep them apart and, um, you know, do it that way. So, actually, like, this has probably only been another extra two minutes, and I think we'll just kind of leave it at this for today's, um, so it's just kind of went a little bit over five minutes, but um, just with adding the leaves, you can kind of see how much um, dimension and um, how 
how much dimension that's kind of given there. One thing that you can also do is pull color off. So if you kind of finding that you want um, a certain area to have less to have less color, you can kind of pull that off as well. So I did use this in my um, in my other painting at the back. Uh, this is the ruby red from Rivervale, which I love as well. So I, I, I might just pop a little bit of that in the middle. very good at leaves I'm not sure what the secret is to leaves but I don't have it Okay, so that is our second um, admit alarm, and here is the end result. So it's been about, it's actually been sort of five minutes to do the flowers, and probably like two minutes to do the leaves, and just a little bit of tweaking in between. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll see. Um, there are, there are actually, there are so many different ways to do the loose florals and it's just, because we're here kind of and we have a couple more minutes, let's just sort of continue around the page and kind of see what else we can create. So, um... thinking of doing kind of a purple a purple rose here so this is ultramarine violet and what I'm doing is kind of creating the half cup shapes and sort of going around so I'm going to try and sort of fill in the rose this way and then we'll put some petals down there so and we'll also leave room for some uh, yellow um, a center in there as well so I'm gonna get a bit of um, let's see, can I get a bit of amethyst as well kind of deepen this out here Okay. And then we'll add some, let's see, I love lemon yellow, so we'll add some lemon yellow. And probably a little of this. Oh. Kind of spread that around. Okay, and then sort of want to go in and fill this in somehow.
and you can just keep adding sort of the petals and playing around with the petals until you're happy with how it's kind of looking and how it's working together. So that's another kind of way to do a flower and let's just do um, sort of a half, sort of just an opening. Kind of a baby one. <laughs> Okay. So this is, I'm using um, the ISO yellow from Rivervale, which I really like as well. Let's just do some little flowers around it and then we'll kind of fill in. So here's just... I'm just kind of doing like little blossoms or little and then um, let's pop some Let's do some green leaves here. So I think that is going to be all for today. I hope you enjoyed it guys and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.